Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson with some cold hard facts about Ice Age Collision Course. I play a character named Neil DeBuck Weasel. <gasps> Famed astrophysicist Neil DeBuck Weasel! He knows the cosmos. So here we have just some furry Ice Age mammals just trying to save the world from a magnetic asteroid. In this movie, you got tidal forces and collisions and electricity and magnetism. <laughs> And I've been asked by the producers to investigate the science behind the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No. No. It's not how fast he gets there, it's how quickly he'd have to accelerate to reach the speed necessary to get there in 16.5 seconds. And that acceleration would squash him into a pile of goo. Ah, disgusting. Loved that. New topic. Yup. Cool beans. Friction is what now? If you rub your feet on rolling carpet, what happens? No, no. You're about to participate in a lightning bolt experiment, brought to you by Mother Nature. <laughs> well, that's just hurtful. Get the biggest magnetic crystals into the volcano. They've got to be launched sky high to pull the asteroid off course. We're reminded that magnets attract, they'll also repel. So, in principle, you're invoking the forces of nature to redirect an orbital path. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> That's easy, right? Oh, yeah, it sounds like a real piece of cake. Asteroids are pieces of planets that have broken apart and collected in that belt in orbit around the sun. Our asteroid belt is not nearly as massive as the one Scrat witnessed. <laughs> Now, those are the cold, hard facts. You just got burnt! Ice Age Collision Course, July 22nd. Be there.